<laughs> look at his arm. That's what I look like in real life when I'm using my steering wheel. Look. Yeah. Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Thornton Farm. Now today we're going to be carrying on with basically just getting the farm ready for our next big harvest. But until then we do have some special presents coming in for us today. And we're also unfortunately getting rid of one of our boys. So today we're selling the Ford. Some Irish guy in, from a farm called Cobra is buying it. So we're going to ship it off to him today. That's his gear there. He sent someone else up to get it. Okay, so our first job of today is actually getting the Ford out. Now, we really need to move the uh, class, luckily. So we'll jump into here, move this out of the way. Move this. Jump out of here. Now, I am going to miss the Ford. Um, we've got we've done quite a lot on this farm with it, and it's been a nice little workhorse. Now, role-playing aside, guys, if you do want to download my version of the Ford T10, a TW10, sorry. You can find it on my Facebook page, the Simulate Facebook page. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. It's had a slight retexture than the normal one, and it also has some better front wheels on it. So yeah, let's go ahead and load this one up onto the trailer. Just gonna turn off shuttle mode because I don't like using it with uh, tractors with IC. What is this loading up? Oh, I know what it is. This is from the last episode where we sold our grain. We don't need that. So, we just get it on to the trailer. Fantastic little trailer, this, guys. I can't remember where I got it, but I'll try and find a link for it. Uh, okay, I can't really tell how far we are from the front, so we're just going to go to about here. Turn her off. Handbrake on. We'll jump out. And that should do her, guys. Um, bit of a shame to see her go, but we don't want too much tractors on the farm. One, we don't need them when we're paying for like maintenance and stuff. Uh, two, because of computer issues. I don't want to be having too much equipment on the farm for lag and stuff. Okay, so we'll lift that up. Why is that open? Um, go ahead and lift her down. Lift up the uh, back. I don't even know what that's called, to be fair. Um, start her up. Lock her. And away she goes, guys. It's the last time you'll see the Ford, at least on Thornton Farm, anyway. Bye, Ford. Uh, she's been a good one. Okay, so that's the Ford gone, guys. We're going to miss it, but like I said, it was only a beginning tractor. Um, I did promise some people I would get a certain particular tractor. Uh, for some reason, a lot of people were asking for it, so we have gone ahead and bought it, which is why we only have £70,000 left in the bank. We did have 160 something But yeah, it should be here very soon. Um, in fact, here it comes now. That was good timing. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Hopefully the class, the case isn't in the way. I think it might be, so let's quickly move it. So here she is, guys. I went ahead, as promised, and bought myself a class. Right, sorry about that. The uh, engine noise on the man truck was annoying me. So here she is, guys. As promised, I told you I'd get a 650 when I find a good one. And thanks to Fahi, one of my uh, live stream moderators, I found one. <clears throat> So, I can't actually wait. Let's get her off. Let's get her off the back of the... Oh, this is the vanilla one you have to wait in, isn't it? So, let, I can't wait to show you guys this tractor. Let's jump in and have a look at her. Look at the detail on this, guys. She's a bit jumpy on this trailer, but she's fine when you're off the ground. So, lower that down. And when we start her up, look at this. Ready? I seriously am blown away by this tractor. Can hold up. I'm going to turn off the shuttle again because we've got IC. But yeah, fantastic little tractor this. Let's back her off of the trailer. Okay, now this isn't just one of the best class mods I've seen in Farm Sim. This is probably one of the best mods I've seen for Farm Sim full stop. Um, you can see there when you open the doors, the light actually comes on and stuff right here. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, guys, so let's not waste any time. Let's get this thing working. And by the way, it's not Axion, I got it wrong, it's an Arion. So, 
Let's get this thing working and making us some money. Okay, guys, so let's get this thing working, as I just said. Um, I should also mention while we're here, this is probably the last tractor we're going to get for a long while. I don't really see the point in having more than three tractors on a farm of this size. Um, even three is not really needed, but we've got it just in case. Um, today we're going to be seeding field number 15, so it's not a very long episode today, hopefully, but I just really wanted to get the uh, new tractor up and done, up and running. Let's jump out, we'll connect this up. There's a poster, I have to go around the other side. There she is. How much does she have in her? 23%. That may be enough. We're going to try and save our money and see if this is going to be enough for the small field that we have. Loving this tractor, by the way. I've said that a lot, but it's true. We do not need, however, the inspector mod today because it's just going to be us working. All the other hired workers have got the day off. Now, I know I've been saying that we're going to be getting rid of that Dominator, but I think the tractor was more important because the Ford couldn't really do that much, if we're honest. It was low horsepower. Um, yeah, it didn't really fit in anywhere. It was just really a trailer puller, and we haven't got any room for trailer pullers. It was a front loader, though, which means now our official front loader is the case, because that's the only front loader we have. Okay, everybody, so we are going to be doing... We're going to be going this way for once. Last time when we cultivated it, we went the other way. Uh, we're going to try this way, see if it's any easier because that, where is it? That building got in the way last time, so just experimenting. So we have our GPS set up and we are going to go ahead and start doing this. So yeah, welcome back to the stream, guys. I hope you enjoy this class. I am absolutely in love. I know I've said that a lot, but look at it. Yes. In fact, what we're doing, see, is we're here. We can turn. They will let us while we're moving. Uh, I'm going to stop at the end of here because we need to... And yeah, that was a clutch. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's turn this on. There we go. So it looks a bit more realistic. Um, what I'm going to do, actually, is... Okay, so I've turned on auto stop at um, three meters. That should be more than enough than what we need today. We're going to skip rows as we usually do. Uh, into our next one. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for the support lately, I think. In fact, what are we on? Let's check. Hope you don't mind me using my phone while I'm streaming, but I'm going to see how much subscribers we have real quick. So at the time of recording this video, we are at 581 subscribers. Blown away by that, guys. Um, I think on Friday we hit 500, I think it was. So that's 81 subscribers in just... What day is it today? Monday. So two days. Two full days. Um... So yeah, thank you guys for that. Now, if you're at my live stream or you've seen the replay of the last live stream, you may notice that the quality was a bit off. That's because I'm trying OBS. For some reason, XSplit takes up too much CPU on my computer, probably because it's a not very good CPU. But um, yeah, OBS is a lot better in terms of CPU power, but um, I think you'll agree that quality's not as good. I'm going to try and tweak it. I think Rainbow Dave said he was going to help me get it looking good and save me some CPU uh, space. So hopefully that gets happened by the uh, next time. The next stream, if not, the stream's going to be pretty bad quality. Or we can go ahead, or well, of course we can go back and use XSplit, but then the stream may get cut off halfway through, which is very annoying. Also, you may be happy to know that my uh, multiplayer Let's Play series has started recording. It's a bit hard to fit in all of our schedules because all three of us have a different schedule, but we're getting there slowly. This is not taking long at all, actually, with this uh, particular cedar. You may be thinking this cedar is a bit ridiculous for this field, but don't forget we do have some massive fields on this map, which is exactly why we bought it, aka field number 11. So the only downside to that is it looks a bit stupid on fields like this, but there's no point in having a big and a large cedar, so this is just one of the perks of having a big cedar, I suppose. Small fields get done really quick. We just have to do our headland, so that's why we're not really going right to the very edge. Lift that up, go into our next one.
lower it down again, and we'll do this row here. Now, this possibly is going to be our last row of our ones. People got annoyed when I called them odd and evens because it made no sense. Now we're just going to call them row ones and row twos because it makes a little bit more sense, I suppose. So it goes one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And that should. Mm, when are we going to run out of dirt? When are we going to run out of dirt? I think we're going to run out of field before we run out of dirt. There we go. And we're in a bush. Fantastic. Okay, so we'll turn that off for now just to save up on uh, some power. In fact, I just realised I shouldn't have even done that last row because that's actually our headland. <laughs> Oopsie. So, let's go into this row here now. And we'll continue with this. So yeah, I know I've already said this in this particular video and probably every video since, but my subscribers, if you are subscribing to me, I really do appreciate it. You guys are literally blowing me away. If you look at my first video that was uploaded, it was two months ago. So whatever it is, 500 and I forgot already. 581 subscribers in two months is amazing. Uh, it, on my old channel, people think it, I've just got beginner's luck. This is actually my third channel, guys. Uh, the other two failed massively. Um, this one seems to be going pretty well. Basically, I've took everything I know. Oh, it's got a reverse camera. It doesn't actually work, but it's still cool. Um, I took everything I've learned from the other channels and put them into this one straight away. So it's kind of benefited me a lot. Okay. We got a bit stuck in the mud there. Probably shouldn't have lowered it so early. So you guys seem to like live streams, so once I get the quality up and running again on OBS, I will be doing a lot more live streams. I know I said that last time, but of course I had the problem with my internet. So once that's all sorted, I think we're probably going to have to do about two more experimental ones before we actually do a schedule. So once we've got everything up and running in HD, I thought we uh, forgot the GPS then, but no. Nope. Uh, once we get everything running up in HD, good quality without the internet turning off, I think we'll do like a scheduled stream every week. I think I'd enjoy that, actually. I think you guys would enjoy that as well from what you've been telling me. Can't go any further than that because we'll be in a bush house, so we'll do that in our headland. If you do like the live streams, guys, there is a new moderator in there called Tyler Rees. So if you see Tyler Rees in the chat, make sure you say hello to him. He has been subscribed to me since, like, 31, something like that, maybe even before. So he is really is a loyal subscriber, so I've made him a mod to say thank you. He's commented on every video. He's, I believe he's liked every video. So yeah, make sure you say hello to him when you see him in the chat. Okay, so that's done now, guys. We're driving over our crop slightly because we were in a bush. But um, we're going to go and do our headland now. Starting off with this little bit here. Oh, I forgot to lower it. Back up, back up, back up. There we go, that'll do nicely. Missed a little bit there, but we'll get that after. Now, I am going to start... Um, basically, if you've subscribed to me for a long time, you know that me and Rainbow Dave help each other out a lot with our YouTube stuff. Um, he's telling me the other day about a poll. I'm going to look into that. Basically, it's going to let you guys decide what we do in each episode. So, <laughs> I'm not sure how to do that just yet, so I need to actually speak to him. But yeah, it was a good idea that he threw my way, so I'm definitely going to be doing that. So basically, in every video, a card will pop up in the top corner letting you vote what we do next episode, and whatever gets the most votes, obviously, that's what we'll be doing. Seems like a really cool idea. Okay, guys, so this should be the last piece now. I'm just going to have a little drive around and make sure. Very bumpy along here. The uh, dirt mod's really working the suspension on this class. There we go. In fact, I missed a little bit here, so we'll get this. And now we are finally done. I'm just going to carry on doing this bit anyway, because we're driving over the crops and we don't want to ruin the seeds. Well, it's not crops yet, but... We're currently driving over the seeds. So at least the seed drill is replanting it behind us. Okay, that does nicely. We'll fold this up now. Probably need to clean it, actually. I haven't cleaned it for a few episodes, this seed drill. And our brand new class is about to, unfortunately, get dirty because we're going to drive through 
The wet mud. There's a wall there. I need to say my real name then. There's a wall there, simulate. Um. Oh. We need some four-wheel drive. Look at her. She's beautiful. Now, I forgot who it was that asked for the class originally. I think it was on Andre or... I'm going to say Andre. Really bad with names, guys. Um, but yeah, thank you for suggesting class. I did tell you I'd get a class when I found a good one. And I finally found a good one. So once again, thanks to Fahi for pointing this one out. On This one, if you want, guys, is on modholster.com. I'll put a link to it in the description box. If you want to use it, of course. So that's that done. We'll pack this up. And we have to do... I know we did this in the last episode of the episode before. But we have to... Uh, make tram lines on all of our fields so that's what we're going to be doing as well today once again has to be done so if you're bored of seeing that I do apologize but we do have crop destruction on guys which is why I do this I don't just do it for looks it do actually does serve a purpose when you have crop destruction on now actually I need to ask you guys a question hopefully you're watching it this far in to the video now if you are let me know the answer to this would you guys watch an american map me playing an american map um i know i will mainly be sticking to british maps like this one for example but i do like all styles of farming um i really want to try out some american maps at some point just as, i think it's a completely different style the equipment you use in america is slightly different to what we use in the uk so yeah it was would you guys watch me play American map? Let me know in the comment box below. Of course, that will also let me know that you're watching it this far into the video, which is also handy. I can't remember where I put my subsoiler, which is a problem. Okay, I found it. I put it somewhere... Where I put it somewhere safe. Of course, that means when you put stuff safe, you lose it. That counts for real life as well. This is a three-point hitch one, so we don't actually have to get out to pick it up. We can just do it from using the hydraulics. There we go. So let's quickly go over and do our tram lines. Right, so let's go in and do this. As per usual, you've all seen me do tram lines before if you've subscribed to me, so this isn't that special, but we'll lower the subsoiler and we'll begin doing our first one. We're not going to do a headland on this one because it's a really small field. I think what we're going to do instead is just do lanes up and then one lane across the bottom to actually get to the top lanes and then a lane at the top also. It's kind of headlands, this is not a round headland, it's just the headlands on the top and the bottom of the field. Okay, this last one, the GPS didn't actually fit on the field, so we're just randomly doing one wherever we want. Uh, the green line is somewhere in the grass over there, so we didn't bother. We're just going to do it here. I feel that like this is a, this is basically the middle of what we've got left, so it feels only right doing it here. And now we'll do our headland. Do I just want to do the whole headland manually, because why not? Okay guys, so that is us finally done all the tram lines on this field. Didn't take very long at all. Let's head back to the yard. Really like the cab suspension on this thing. It's really realistic. Right guys, so I think we'll call that an episode. Sorry if this one was a bit short. Once again, this whole episode is really just introducing you guys to our new tractor. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's turn everything off because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to give her a quick little clean down. The only thing I wish this tractor had is where you can open the doors from the outside. I don't think you can do that. No, you can't. I don't know how hard that is to add, but I may look into it, but not really a big issue. I just wish you could open the door from the outside and close it, of course. So we're going to give this a little hose down. So once again, thank you for joining me on this episode of Thornton Farm. Sorry it was a bit short and a bit rubbish. I just wanted to introduce you guys to our brand new tractor and also see off our Ford tractor. So we're a bit behind on money, so our next job is to get our money back up to where it was. Um, so once again, thank you for joining me. I've been Simulate Gaming. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Please slap that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. And I'll see you in the next one.